We're in studio with the Admiral Bill Stubblefield, two-star. Good morning again, Rob. Hall of Famer, Matt Miller. Good morning. And uh, it's time to talk theater, folks. We're talking We're talking turkey in about nine days when it's Thanksgiving, which, uh, by the way, uh, we won't be here next week. So it's a full week. The show's off. Without no, Rob. No show. With full week without Rob. To our Facebook community, you're still welcome to comment to each other all you want in person, <laughs> but it won't be through our site. <laughs> Not going to happen that way. I uh, in studio with the Irvins, Aubrey and Malia Irvin. Good morning. We've seen you so many times on the program. How are you? Good. How are you? Great to have you. You're doing double duty now. You're at, you're at uh, the By George Children's Museum. Yep. And back at the Apollo. Yep. I'm um, doing both. Oh, good for you. Thank you. I think. Are yep. you, happy, you happy about that? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good collaboration between, and you know, we're both on East Martin Street. So. Mm-hmm. It works out. It's a short walk. Yep. <laughs> and this is Lily. Hello. Hello, Lily. <laughs> We've had you on before, haven't we? Yes. You were yes, much yes. younger when we had you on the first time, though, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you uh, uh, a senior now? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, where do you go to school? Martinsburg High School. Uh, do you do theater there as well? I do not, but I do show choir. Oh, yes, of course. That's a great show choir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys done for the year? Do you have another big show yet? Um, we're working on our comp show for 2025. Mm-hmm. So we're going to start competing in February or January. February, January. I bought the dumplings this year. Matt actually yes. uh, got did the footwork for me. Very good. Yeah. I made the dough for all those dumplings. Did you really? Right. Yes. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Well, you were making dough to make some dough, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. Did, how, how did it go? Did you end up raising your target goal? Yeah, we sold out really fast this year, so that's great. I think it must have been the two that Matt bought for me. <laughs> Put it over the top. Put yeah. it over the top. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. uh, you can scoot your chair, and I, I hate to have you have to lean in like that. It seems uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't want you to get lower back problems at your young age yet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what production are you doing at the Apollo, Lily? Um, right now, we're doing Little Mermaid Junior and 101 Dalmatians Kids. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm the director for Little or uh, 100 Dalmatians Kids, and I'm playing Ariel in the Little Mermaid Junior. Oh, well, that would make sense. Yeah. When is the show? The show is this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Friday night at 7, Saturday at 1 and 7, and then um, Sunday at 2.30. Okay, and what are the ticket prices, do you know? Um, They range from 17 to 22, depending on if you're a senior, a student, a kid. Are you doing the matinee on Sunday? Yep, it's a 2.30 matinee. Yeah, okay, very nice. And how long have you been rehearsing for this? Um, We started the first week of September. Oh, that's a pretty long time because this is end of November now we're getting to. Yeah. Yeah. How long is the show? The show, 101 Dalmatians Kids, which is the opener, is 30 minutes, and then The Little Mermaid is an hour. And how many kids are in 101 Dalmatians Kids? And please don't say 101. (laughs) I asked for 101, but they only let me have 40. 40 40 is a lot of kids. Yeah. 101 would be a lot to hurt around. Yeah. How, How do you do the Dalmatian dogs? Um, we do, they have like little onesies or like leotards that <laughs> oh have dots on them. And then they have like stage makeup and ears and stuff. <laughs> How old are these kids? Um, they range from kindergarten. Some of them are even younger in like preschool to fifth grade. Oh my goodness. That's got to be off the cute scale. They're really <laughs> cute. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of little kids in Dalmatian onesies. Did you have to make the Dalmatian onesies separately or can you actually order a Dalmatian onesie? Some of them, for the boys, we found shirts that we could order, but the girls' ones we have to spot ourselves, which is good because we could wait so they can't pick them off. Because <laughs> <laughs> they would at that age too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then how long did you say the Little Mermaid show was? One hour. And how many people do you have in that? Also 40. Also 40 people? Does it really need 40 people for the Little Mermaid show? Yeah, it, there's it's pretty ensemble heavy. There's a lot of like people that we need for different numbers and stuff and like sea creatures. Yeah, how many of them are mermaids? Um, ten. About ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there some overlap in the cast between the two? Yes. Okay. Um, a Little Mermaid goes from fourth grade through twelfth grade, right? And so there's a little bit of overlap, but most yeah. kids pick one or the other. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Miller. And, and you chose to direct and to act. So what has that challenge been for you to oversee one production but yet be prepared to be in another? I feel like it's – I've done theater for a really long time, so I feel like I'm, like, equating it to taking, like, an AP version of a class instead of just, like, the normal level because it's ba- – balancing both can be difficult, but it's not un- – like, it's doable. It's fun. Mm-hmm. As far as the directing, is this your debut as a director? Yes. I choreographed for the previous three kids' shows that we've done, but I wasn't the director, but this is my first show directing. 
So the buck stops with you. That's the director, right? You get to make a lot of those decisions and how everything is going to play out. Yes, yeah. All right. It's been fun. It's been really fun, yeah. I'm directing our show in the spring, too. Okay. How, how much of the directing, like, is your take on everything, and how much of it is kind of directed by the presentation itself? Um, I feel like it's – there's a lot of um, – room like wiggle room with how you like do the set and stuff because the original cartoon is a cartoon so it's really hard to like get it exactly right but we have a lot of parent volunteers that are amazing painters and artists so we got our set to look as cartoony as we could get it All right. and there's there's a lot of wiggle room to kind of stage things how you want to that's good so let me talk about uh with you this first attempt at directing right so how have you met this challenge what's it been like it's been fun sometimes it feels since they're little it can get hard because they're little kids <laughs> hurting cats right <laughs> yes it, i've said that many times it feels like you're hurting cats but it's really fulfilling because they are happy and they like being there mm -hmm. and they're enjoying it so even if it's not perfect it doesn't actually matter because they're just kids and they're having fun and do that's they, all that actually matters do they have a singing role yes they're it's a musical so everyone is singing um and then we have our leads that have like solos and stuff how hard is it to teach kids that age songs and such luckily i have a music director for that which i'm sure he has had his struggles but it, it's turned out good how old were you when you first did work with the apollo um i was seven when i did my first show at the apollo and when you were seven did you think you wanted to direct one of these at some point i don't know probably and what do you think of this directing experience so far? I think it's really fun, and I'm excited to do it again. Yeah. What, 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 can you stay with the Apollo through the youth program? Is it through 21? or No, is, this is, is her 18? last season. Um, with the youth 18? program, even with the rights that you buy from shows, you once you graduate, you're kind of out of the that part. I mean, everyone's welcome to audition after that for other shows, but sure. not for the youth program. And you, so. you mentioned with the licensing. what is How does that work? When you buy rights for a show – there, when it's a junior show or a kid show, there's guidelines because it has to be certain age people that are participating in the program. Mm -hmm. So um, we did start the whole, for the kids that we're having student led people. So we did interviews, we hired a music director, a director and a stage manager, and even a technical director. And they're all high school seniors this year, but we're opening it um, every season to junior high schools, um, seniors, and then also like recent graduates, okay. they could do it too. So it's kind of fun to have the older kids leading the younger kids. It kind of gives a different dynamic. Mm -hmm. And I think it's more effective with the little kids too. Did the Apollo do their talent show this year? No, we haven't done it for a little bit. Um, Since but COVID? Yeah, it's kind of died. A lot of things kind of died down during COVID. So we might approach it differently going forward, but you have think, something similar. You think it'll come back? Um, we're thinking of different ways of doing it, like a lip sync battle or different things like that, just so it's like a different format that's kind of a new take on a talent show so and, and do you have a big upcoming schedule between now and christmas we have um martinsburg high school is under construction or was going to be under construction um so we have a lot of concerts happening in december from um, south middle and from martinsburg high school um we just had martinsburg high school there with little women they used our theater for that um and then coming through the next year we'll have a lot of people there for rehearsals and stuff like that so the those people will be using Apollo while, you know, the, the auditorium is getting redone. I know that the, the city put some money into the Apollo and some of those ARPA funds, I think, went to the Apollo for the marquee. And, and I think the upstairs is in. Have you seen any Im improvements, changes, uh, whatever up there? Um, yeah. So we get the marquee. I think it's coming the first week of December. I don't know the official date, right. but that's super exciting. I know um, Michael's worked a long time wanting that get it back since it fell down. And um, so it's almost like a dream, I think, to that it's actually happening. Um, but that was money that came from um, that too. So. Very good. All right. So uh, Travis Bishop's up next here in a second here. But uh, yeah, Travis, hang out there. We'll give us a little chair, have a seat. We'll be with you right after the commercial break. Just to recap, the Little Mermaid and the 101 Dalmatians uh, with the 40 little spotted children to be running around <laughs> soon in onesies. If you could give us, the, again, the recap on the show dates and times. The shows are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this weekend at Friday at 7 o'clock, Saturday at 1 o'clock, and then 7 o'clock again, and then Sunday at 2.30. How do you get tickets? Um, you could get them at the door, or you could buy them online at theapollocivictheater.org. Good stuff, Lily. You're prepared with information. I like that. <laughs> 
Bob, thanks. Thank you. Good to see you again. I'm Good glad you're back you. with the Apollo. Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Hey, we'll take a two-minute time out here, and then Travis Bishop is back from North Carolina. He's headed back down again soon. We'll talk with him after these. <laughs> 